Keeping venomous reptiles is an unforgiving hobby, requiring proper training and lots of experience. One simple mistake can be the difference between life and death. death, death. Remember, the most venomous snake in the world oh, is the whoa. one that just bit you. There are no venomous snakes with training wheels. Just because you see Viper Keeper handle snakes a certain way does not mean you should try it too. Ah, uh, look. <laughs> Well, I think he's there waiting for his tucker. This is the uh, Western Green Mamba's uh, cage. Uh, he is uh, he has taken to uh, liking chicks and switched off of rats. Um, you guys don't see him very often because these are very very uh, twitchy snakes. Uh, I think the girl is back there. She's had a rat. And he uh, sort of turned his nose up to the rat, uh, but he's liking uh, he's liking chicks these days, as you can see. So that's what we will give him. Go ahead. We're just gonna sit here and watch because we don't visit with the, you guys very much, huh? We don't visit with you guys very much. It's really, uh, really a bit amazing to me that uh, the girl sort of turns her nose up at uh, at chicks. Now these are strictly an arboreal species, uh, so I was wondering uh, why. Hey, be careful with that pecker. You don't want to have a pecker sticking out of your uh, throat, you know? Okay. Um, the girl prefers rats, which, you know, I don't know about rats in Africa, but generally, from what I know, they're not terribly arboreal. Um, hey, you better, uh, you better get some, <laughs> you better get some more uh, body length over here so you can eat properly, huh? You want some more? Up oh, there's, there's our friend the Twitchy Taipan. Relax, you already ate. You already ate two rats. Give me a break. Look at her. She's all excited. Maybe she wants a chick, huh? I think she just wants anything. Here, you want another one, bud? You know, I... You know, I try to give the animals a diverse diet, if I possibly can. Uh, you know, it of course requires their cooperation. If they're not going to eat it, I can't feed it to them, but... You know, uh, if if they want a particular uh, variety of food, uh, you know, I'll provide it for them uh, if I can get it. Wow, that was pretty quick, huh? Hey, look at those two lumps moving down. Woo. What do you want? Leave me alone. I fed you. Huh? All right, relax, bud. Relax. I'll give you another. Good. There you go. Is that nice, huh? Now, being an arboreal species, one would think that uh, <laughs> birds are a uh, uh, are natural prey item for them. Uh, and you can see that uh, he does birds uh, quite effectively. Well, okay. He's an accomplished chick eater, aren't you? Yes, you are, my green friend. These guys uh, can get uh, scary twitchy sometimes. Uh, these guys haven't been too bad. Uh, they've been uh, pretty uh, relaxed and uh, and not as uh, frightening as some of the other ones I had. Here you go. Here, you want some help? No, no, you got it. You got it licked. You got that chick licked. Good for you. Look at that. Mmm. See, I didn't forget about you, huh? You were worried that I was going to forget you. Everybody gets taken care of here. Some, sometimes you have to wait a while, though. Uh... You know, if other snakes are a little bit 
sickly and uh, require uh, a little bit more attention, uh, they get the uh, first dibs, but there you go. You're okay. I pulled eight out because, you know, these things are only a few ounces a piece. And, you know, I want them to gain weight and grow. You know, he's a couple years old now and, uh, you know, in the right age to, you know, get to their uh, normal length, which can be up to like 10 feet, uh, which is really scary. Go ahead, no rush, no rush. Boy, the the lumps are getting closer together there, dude, huh? Yeah. Sorry, folks, a little backlighting. Uh, these guys only have a basking light. I don't have a, uh, a regular lamp in there for, for normal daylight, although I probably should. As soon as I need to pull them out and do their cage, I'll mount a, uh, a normal lamp uh, so they can at least get some full spectrum stuff. Uh, the only full spectrum light they get is from the uh, room lights. Oh, you got two of them uh, together. We've got to move them both now, huh? Yeah, look at those lumps. Look at those lumps. Western Green Mambas are certainly some of my favorites because they've got uh, these fantastic uh, scales and spaces between the scales. Go ahead, bud. There you go. There you go. You're being a good girl, huh? Yeah, you're just sitting back there watching. You're just sitting back there watching. Okay, this is going to be your last one there, dude. Uh, you've uh, sucked down eight of them now. And I think that's a good meal for uh, the next uh, week or ten days. Look at that. Are you a pro, huh? Are you a pro? I know, I see you. Just don't make any funny moves, huh? Hi, how you doing? You want to do a uh, Western Green Mamba Cam, huh, for the people? There you go. Western Green Mamba Cam. Okay, there you go. Here. Here, that's your last check. Go ahead. There you go. Okay. Case closed. Time to move on. So that's our Western Green Mambas Dendroaspis viridis. Just, uh, just one of the beautiful uh, uh, four main species uh, forms of mamba that we have to enjoy. See you guys. Now speaking of trying hard, this guy has sort of started shedding but stopped. Now this is the new one that just came in with the Tanzania shipment. Uh, he looks like he's high blue. It's hard to tell under his shed, but uh, we're going to get him out and we're going to uh, tube him and uh, finish the job uh, so he can get on with life. Rhino vipers generally require two hooks uh, because normally they don't hook terribly well. I can't wait. I can't wait until these are out of my snake room. Mambas are at their new home. Okay, so I have my favorite snake hook. Now, excuse me, since I don't necessarily need that towel, I am just going to cover that Egyptian cobra so it stops beating its face against the. Uh, against the uh, ed edge of the tub and we'll attempt to, uh, to get our friend the rhino viper out. You toad. Hi bud. You sort of stopped. Uh, would you like to cooperate and come out? Huh? Huh? Come on. Good 
boy. Boy, we'll get you all cleaned up. Look at that. What are you doing, bud? Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That's a high blue Atori Forest uh, Rhino Viper. Now, this is a male Rhino Viper, and male Rhino Vipers are easily, easily wound up and, and stressed. All right. Just relax. This probably won't hurt a bit. Done. See, right now he doesn't know what a tube really is or what it's for, um, which is a good thing. Because after this, he won't be so easy to get in there. This must be uh, Shed the Snake Day. Oh, you're all right, bud. You're good. This must be Shed the Snake Day. Now, we're just going to sort of open that up and get rid of this part. Okay, okay, don't be crawling in the tube too far. I mean, cooperate. Last thing you'd expect uh, rhinos and stuff to cooperate. <laughs> now, theoretically, this camera is running. Yes, okay. Well, we can see it over here. Okay, relax. I know you're pissed. He is a, at least I believe it, no, it's a girl. She is a real sniffler. Um, come on, girly, easy. I thought it was a boy. Well, George has got another girlfriend. You're okay, come on, relax. Relax. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Ugh. Yeah, I know. That's... No wonder you stopped. That's not so, uh... That's not so easy. Look. I don't care if you put it in reverse. You need to stay in the tube for another couple of minutes. Huh? Come on. Come on, you can do it. I'll just keep tension on it. All right, all right, you're re relax. You're not relaxing. You're not relaxing. No, 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 no. You've got to uh, get keep most of your body. In the tube. And that way... The pointy end is slowly working its way away from me. I know, I hear you huffing and puffing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're getting there. Knocking noises, uh, boom slangs trying to get out of their cage. Boom slangs are just notoriously uh, heavy duty, uh, uh, just rub their noses right off their face uh, into, uh, you know, into the screen or whatever. And, uh, you know, they're just. Uh, very self-destructive in that way, but, you know, you can sort of understand them trying to, uh, to get out. Okay, girly, we're over that really uh, rough part. Everything seems to be moving smoothly now. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Is that, is that beautiful? Is that beautiful? Okay, there's the anal scoot. We're almost there, girly.
you know, of course this is uh, rather tiring because um, I'm supporting all this weight, holding her. I'm glad she's decided to relax and go with the flow. Um, this is a violation of her uh, personal space and such, but we need to uh, get her cleaned up and and all set and off to the right start. She's been eating periodically, not really good, but uh, certainly uh, not what I would consider uh, awful. Okay, so there we have it. I'm going to stop this cam. It's on my face. No, it's not even running. I don't know why it's on my face. Hi. Yeah, I know you're pissed. You're pissed. But look at you, huh? Look at you. Now, if I put you up on this uh, tabletop with a towel on it, will you stay there for a few pictures, huh? Or will you go plopping off? You know, it, I try to keep snakes isolated from other snakes because uh, we don't want we don't want them uh, cross contaminating. Come on, just let me look at your tuchus here. Yeah, you're a girl. Here, here. Look, you want to go forward? Here, go forward. Go. Make up your mind. Oh, it's a woman. It's a female. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. Come on. There you go. There you go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, I'm not getting... Oh, your little tail was hooked. Ah, nice try. Come on. Oh, now you don't want to crawl out, huh? Now you just want to sit there. Wow, she's a stunner. She goes from some really nice reds up in the front end. Come on. There you go. To some really nice blues. Come on. Balance yourself. Balance yourself. I know you're tail heavy. Here. Here. Don't be doing evil things to me. I'm really risking my butt trying to keep you stabilized. Hey! What are you doing? <laughs> you don't look terribly happy, huh? You don't look terribly happy. Okay, well let's stop the video for a second and snap a few nice stills. Hiya, Tori. How you doing? Look how deflated uh, a Tori is. You know why she's deflated? It's because it's... I do give a crap Viper Keeper, and here it is. Uh, that's what day it is in the lair, because... Uh, I looked in and said hello to George and noticed that he's in the position that the female's in. I think he he committed a typical male thing, uh, the equivalent of farting, uh, because somebody left a big pile over there. And since he's closest, I'm blaming him. Uh, Mrs. Sniffles is over there. 
Am I correct in blaming you there, bud? Yeah, I am, huh? All right, well, I'm sorry, but <laughs> this requires me disturbing you guys to, uh, to clean up. Uh, uh, so you're just going to have to deal with it, okay? Hi, girly, where are you? Did he crap on you, your spot, huh? Well, that's not very nice. George, you're a typical male, I'll tell you. Yeah, I know, I know. Okay, let me clean this mess up. <clears throat>